Jonathan Brooks, running back. Jogging to keep up with his QB. I like that. Bit of effort. Oh, I think he's going to be nice. Making short little yardage. Quick feet. Some decent pass protection awareness there. He's a hustler. Should have kept his feet there, but he's a hustler. And that's half the battle. Could have done better as a pass protector there. Probably just stay in. Give his quarterback more time to potentially throw deep. Pretty good ball security. He's kind of just... Hold on a sec. I need to make this... I need to make this wider, I think. I find myself outside of the frame a lot. Um, just be a good blocker don't just try and hit a guy it might have worked at the last level like just hitting a guy and then letting him run free it's useless like get in your stance and use two hands and block him No, I think he doesn't have enough attention to detail. Um, pass protection, he's just not really going to be a great asset. Um, there was that running play before where he was kind of unaware of the trailer. I felt like. Where was it? Like, I don't think he's aware of this guy at all. And that's Dallas Turner, who's supposedly one of the best defensive ends in the draft if my memory serves me correctly. Um, and he's just completely unaware. Like, if he had have cut upfield, this guy could have absolutely blown him up and it could have been a potential fumble. So, I love a high awareness running back. I think he'd be alright being drafted in the later rounds, but um, no high, I reckon. Oh, oh, look at that burst. Oh, get there. Wow, he's a home run hitter. Ain't no question. Holy dooly. Wow. Uh, don't like he went outside there. No, 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 no. Your job's to get upfield. Stop and then cut upfield, and then maybe even cut back to where you came from. Because that's a lot of Georgia defenders here. But no, he just follows the play, and... So he might have the athleticism. We saw that home run threat, but he didn't have great vision there. Damn. Pretty good sitting in there in pass protection, looking active. Because if you look active, that's going to dissuade the def the defenders who might want to rush through you. If you're looking active, then it's like, oh, okay, well, this guy's going to try and block, so maybe I shouldn't even bother. If you're just standing there, um, you're not going to be a threat to the defense. So even just good body language can actually have a tangible impact on the result of a play. See, look at that good pass protection fundamentals. That's great. I like him a lot. Mm, could have, would have liked him to get out of his break a bit sooner. He's got to have an internal clock of how much his quarter, how much time his quarterback has. And I think he's just got to cut right here because this defender's kind of covering the left. Even if the playbook says that he's supposed to go left, it's like this. He's this is his space that he can 
utilize. And he kind of just stuffs around, eventually gets open. By, by this time, the quarterback's got to roll out. So we'd like him to be more urgent in um, the passing game. And again, the lack of vision. Like, here, I actually think he should have bounced it outside. Like, look, look at all this huge amount of space, but he's content with just getting the first down, which, you know, is a good result, but you're just leaving yards on the table because it could just be a three and out. Or like, you know... You could turn the ball over, make no yardage from here, whereas you could have gotten at least in field goal range in this play if you had great vision. So leaving yards on the table, don't like to see that. Yeah, he lacks vision, but really sound in pass protection, and he's got that home run speed. So very interesting, unusual skill set. Home run speed and really stout in pass protection, but short yardage, I'm not sure he's going to be the guy. So, I think, um, you know, mid-round pick. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to broaden my grades because before I was going, I kept calling guys a sixth-round pick for some reason, um, where it's like seventh-round pick is just like, is it even worth using the pick? Like, it's almost like being undrafted. Um, so, yeah, mid-round pick for this guy is where I think he should be at. This very small, short videos. I'd like to see a little bit more tape. What's this? What? Well, that ad blocker off. I mean, on. Here we go, boys and girls. Yeah, that was alright. Knows his way through a gap. Uh, shows a bit of tentativeness. I'd like him to attack with more authority. Uh, no, nah, he lacks... I don't think he's going to make it, man. No way. He's got to jump cut and go outside. There's a clear shitload amount of space. And that's like probably bad pre-snap recognition. Like here, like the defense is clustered inside. So he has to think that unless like the defenders fan out a lot, like he's going to have outside space and he just doesn't have the vision. Like this is terrible. And he... Look, he costs his team... The ball. A bit of a sloppy handoff there. Some terrible tackling. And one of their two and six. Look at this shit. That's horrendous. And look, Benson runs like he's expecting to go down pretty soon, I think. Like... He's not really fighting to stay upwards. Like he's ex he's okay with being tackled, and I like a running back who's like I'm not gonna let myself be tackled. Shows pretty good ball security amongst all this traffic. Is he worth being drafted though? I think against NFL players, massive athletes, I think he's going to have a hard time breaking tackles because he's just a bit too tentative. Because this is a horrendous defense. I can notice this already. Like, horrendous tackling technique. So you might look decent against a defense like this. But again, it's just soft. Like... You know, okay, you take the hand off and you're like, oh shit, all right, well, look, I'll at least make this guy miss. Like, can he make one guy miss? He's got to wheel away from this and then try and cut upfield. 
But he's just like, oh, I'll just take the loss. And it's just not acceptable. Like, you know, you've got to understand that there's ex- a lot of extremely talented running backs on the market, like in the undrafted market and also like in free agency. So you have to be outstanding to be worth being picked up. Um, and look, it's just, he's just not picking up yards. Just run full steam into this, lower your pads and make it and bowl a guy over. Like, just attack. Like, your your man has blocked the defender. So, just run through your own blocker and make some short yardage. But I don't think I'd draft him. So, what's he doing as the third best running back in the whole draft? Big game, Ohio State, Michigan. My, my too big. Hmm. See, that's attacking a hole with a little bit more authority. Showing good vision there, but he's got to just commit, like. If you're going to go outside, just loop around like that. But he just takes too, sticks too close to his blockers and therefore he gets blown up. It's this lack of decisiveness. And that's what you've got to do as a running back because you get that ball and if you're tentative, then that's time that the defense can have to scramble and take you down. You have to just... He should have either jump cut out here where there's more space and that's where, you know, even a running back needs to have some play recognition like, okay, it's like, all right, well, if I get the ball here, what's the most likely chance that I break a big play? Here, where there's less space, I've got defenders, this linebacker here is like shading over, um, and that's that's going to be my primary guy to beat here. So am I more likely to make some yards here where there's not much space, or all the way out here where there's heaps? So it's like, okay, take the handoff, all right, they're collapsing in left, um, so jump cut and then head back out here and trust your speed to get outside. But Coram takes the lazy way out, really, and just goes with where his um, the blocking scheme was. Lack of creativity here killed him. And look, it's just a nothing play. No, he hasn't got the vision, I'm afraid. Because this is just like, okay, I'll follow my blocker. But look at all this space. Look at that. And again, pre-snap, look at all this space. This is going to be pretty well covered. If this linebacker goes outside and this linebacker goes outside, these guys can cover the middle. There's going to be nothing on to Coram's right here. Look at all this space. Know where the space is. And he just goes right into the thick of the defense. And again, a nothing play. Nah. I'm not drafting this dude. No way.